タイムトゥースティールディスビデオズコンセプト。オールソーヒアーズザユージョアルウォーニングス。The cool freelancer shade also known as the noob shade, the TF2 equivalent of the j i b u s since most new players will be using it. Oh, to see their eyes are shining full of curiosity and wonder ready to play this game. Only to be killed by thermite. It's a single yet effective shade that combines easily with most outfits. Solid 8 out of 10. Another noob shade. However, while the classic shade wearer usually has some formal or serious attire, their style is questionable. The steampunk shades are just as simple as the classic shades but not as effective as it. 7 out of 10. I got mixed results with this shade, either it's another noob shade, or it's used more by military looking freelancer. It's a decent shade, don't get me wrong, but there are better options in the game, honestly. 6 out of 10. Why? It's literally one of the worst freely available shades there is. I mean, the player is okay in most parts. Except style. 3 out of 10. Another new player shade. Yes, the shade itself is decent, but why not go for the classic shade? It's clean, cool, fits most freelancer drip there is. As for the party shades, you kind of need to wear some party drip. 6 out of 10. Either it's a troll or just the average public lobby player. Usually both. As for the shade itself, it's okay looking. 6 out of 10. Very, very likely they didn't see the clockworks text in the shade. Ren Cosplayer. There are two types of military shade users the military looking freelancer, which most of the time are loud players of varying degrees of skill, or a rose cosplayer. Either you are carbon boron or a carbon boron stan. Like the blue shade freelancers, they wear matching outfits. But orange shade users seem more capable than blue shade users. The best free shade available on the game, and to match their awesome shade, they got that awesome skill to combine unrefined but awesome. 10 out of 10 shade. Very likely they just bought the game pass. Unlucky. Even when using these shades to give them a slight luck boost, they will fail in the most unexpected way. The Stealth Tryhard. These players either own a Valk or they wish they had one. The shades look good, but not good enough like the Vox. 7 out of 10. Casual appreciators of the Limited, usually with a combining white outfit. And like their appreciation of the work clock shade, they are a casual bunch. Nice casual shade too, 8 out of 10. Very likely they just bought the game pass and couldn't find the black valk shades. And they look like a shitty discount of the black valk too. 5 out of 10. Solid looking shades, 8 out of 10. Usually worn by decent players too. The Loud Tryhard. If you spot someone with this shade, there is a very, very high chance that they are playing as a jug. They tend to keep it to themselves since they just want to shoot at stuff. The more military ish shade than the military shades. 7 out of 10 shade. They are. Okay. Why? Why do you use this? Why? It's so horrible. What the hell were you thinking when you decided to don those shades? If the fashion police was a real thing on the EP universe, I bet you would be their number one most wanted criminal. Hacker Man. He's the most powerful hacker of all time. Follow me. Very likely they just bought the game pass. 
the superior pink outfit freelancer user. However, their skill is questionable. But the shades are cute. 7 out of 10. I always saw them on challenge runners or speedrunners, like yeah it's a cool concept and it looks nice. Nace 8 out of 10 shade. If you see this on someone, they are the old player. The OG player, the chat that played since entry point only had the kill house. It's an upgraded version of the orange shades and it's spooky. 10 out 10 I love it. Until Cove Shade came that was the most edgy looking shade in game. Now they are just reserved veterans combining this with some red outfit. 9 out 10 shade. The upgraded blue shade. Either you bought it in 2022 or you found the gifts in 2018. Darn this made me feel old. Awesome shade. 9 out of 10. Ow! What? There isn't a shade here, just a regular boring NPC. Why did the wiki add a regular NPC instead of the shade? The stealth tryhards evolved form. Aura Isis also stan. It's a nice mask but honestly, if you want a mask that covers just your eyes, go for the Phantom Aegis. 6 out of 10. In EP there's the average character cosplayer, and then there's the Black Dawn Rose cosplayer. They literally like Rose so much, they want to show their devotion to her by cosplaying as her with an outfit she used once, at the beginning of the game. That's devotion. Oh, the welding mask itself is okay. Loud tryhard that is somehow more casual than the other loud tryhards. What's their secret? Anyways, another solid 8 out of 10 shade. Either they are a jackdaw cosplayer, an edgelord, or a really good player. Or all of them. Onyx unit cosplayer. No one uses this despite looking cleaner than the crimson shades. Finally, my jackdaw cosplay is 100% complete. I have become jackdaw himself and I am ready to destroy Halcyon. Either a challenge runner or a fool that thought Sish won't make you blind if you used it. Either they learned their lesson or wanted to make an edgy blind freelancer while not committing 100% to the bit. Either they are a toxic tryhard, Steel Cove cosplayer or just a casual player. Finally, my Sparrow cos The rich player that is desperately tried to do that gold freelancer drip. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Very hit and miss. Now there isn't anything in game that can beat the edginess of this shade. Nothing. This is the edgy shade. They exist. The shades not the players. Either started playing the game way too late to the party or helped set the party up. The old player, the OG player, the Chad, the legendary freelancer. They are good. Knows their way in and out. Now this is the Aegis mask. The pay to get the mask that I 100% am not still coping with the fact that I don't own it. Totally. The spooky Aegis, it's a mix of Aegis and elite Aegis with a scary smile. My favorite Aegis mask variant, that darn smile bought me. The uh, I got carried on Iron Man Legend mask. Difficult to be taken seriously when using it. Like, when it got released it still had an ounce of respect but now everywhere I look I find that butter mask. Very likely they are waiting to be carried on Iron Man to get the gold Aegis mask. And that's it. That took longer than expected honestly, maybe returning into YouTube might work since the demo 2 of Operators is supposed to be released soon. Until then I'll either try to actually get the gold Aegis and the funny one master to rule them all, roll or make quality EP memes. Who knows? Anyways.
Thanks for watching and a special thank you for those that shared their opinion about the shades so I could make this video. Oh and TTS will stay for a while.